cat, prisoner cat, whichever. Um, I better lower the game because it's going to be really loud, as a matter of fact. That's one thing I forgot to do was lower the desktop audio back down to a level that isn't going to overpower my soft-spoken ass. Alright. So I'm kind of like in the mood to play this game. Uh, I like games like this. I don't know a lot of... I don't want to, you know, stereotype or anything, but... there It feels like, to me at least, there aren't a lot of, like... Male streamers who... Like, are into these kinds of games. Like, there are a couple, right? Like, there's never... Like, there's always an exception to some kind of, of rule. But, like, it feels like these sorts of games are more, I don't know, feminine and calm, you know. It just seems that way. Don't, don't crucify me for it. Uh, I'm not super pale. And, like, what's... Oh, okay, so that's definitely paler than, like, the default skin. So I'll go default. Uh, my hair is long, but it's not that thick. I don't know, it feels like, to me, like, these kinds of games, like... You see a lot of, like, like female or girls playing these. You don't see a lot of guys. And, um... I like these kinds of games, these kinds of simulators. I like simulators in general. But we're going to, like, put something on that I would actually, like, probably wear... If it was like me in everyday life. I mean I would wear that, but I don't have like I don't have that kind of wardrobe. Uh what's this? Mm, no. Maybe if I was in high school or something. Even then in high school I wasn't very like emo or anything. I mostly liked uh classic metal. Whoa! Are these clothes giving me boobs? I think they are. Well, I'm... I'm not trans, so I'm not gonna <laughs> go that far. It might be a mod install, they have no idea. Let's just go with the skull shirt, because I would wear that. And I do have a goatee, as you can see. But it is not that outrageous, so we'll go with this. Name... Um... I'll go with Matt. Prismic M is like an unrealistic name. Uh, we'll go with Prismatic Farm. My favorite thing is music. Sure, we'll do that. I do prefer cats over dogs. And we won't skip the intro. So, let's get this started. <sighs> and for my very special grandson. I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Sorry, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Like, this game is so prophetic, Link. <laughs> You're gonna want to go back to a simpler time, and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Like this old man. I mean, he is our grandpa after all. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Yes. Now let grandpa rest. XX years later, or 20. Jojo, join us, thrive. Like, this game is great at, like, you know, illustrating what it is to work, like, 9 to 5 kind of shit. But, like, the sad thing is, right, like, this is fake. Unless you, you, you know, what are the odds of your grandfather giving you a farm to work on? And working on a farm isn't easy. Like, this is a video game. So I don't know why, you know... They make it seem like it's such a better thing. Oh my god, I 
finally got to... If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing that happened to me long ago, I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I have enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Prismatic Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lua's still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? Oh, yes. Sure thing, Gramps. My grandfather's actually very old school. So, like, when we don't really talk much, he's just very quiet and stoic and stern. He's not like this grandpa who's like, Oh, this is the deed to my farm. Go live a magical life in the woods. Believe me, I know wanting that. I know the feeling of wanting that, for sure. Hello, you must be a mate. I don't know if I'm gonna give them. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. My mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to, to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Go! This is Prismatic Farm. It's a bit rough, but you know. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit more grown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. The little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. I can say that again. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! <laughs> Don't listen to her, man. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her upgrades. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired for the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. <laughs> so usually with this, like, I can't... You, if you... Oh, right. I have a mod that allows me to, uh... Become one with the community. So, I was born May 6th. So, I mean, that's technically spring. And we'll say spring 6th as our birthday. And what do we get? Oh, I got parsnip seeds. You received 15 parsnip seeds. You did a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Yeah, all right. Uh, how do I use it? Okay, yeah, because I prefer using a controller with this, so. Oh, God. Well, where do we want our crops to be? Like, for sure, the barn's gonna be over here. That's the thing, too, man, is, like, you gotta, like, get moving, because usually with these games, they're very, um... They follow the same formula that, like, um... This game in particular, I won't say these games, but this one is very, very reminiscent of, um... Harvest Moon, if you've ever played that game. And I actually do like Harvest Moon a lot, and I, I plan to do a... A Tree of Tranquility playthrough as well. Um, but it's like, it, the first day is always like, you know, the one that's 
the most annoying, I'd say, because you gotta, like, you know, fix up the farm. Wait a second. Uh, pickaxe. Whoops. The one thing that this game does differently is, like, there's combat in here. Like, like there's mining and Harvest Moon, but there's not really enemies to fight in that game. At least in Tree of Tranquility. I don't know if it changed in the later ones. But it's like, day one is always the one that's, like, the most time-consuming, because we gotta, like, clear all this crap out. Because Gramps apparently let the, you know... He was too busy smoozing and talking to the ladies, I guess. Didn't really keep up with the farm. But generally, what I like to do is... I don't know, I kind of like to have crops, like, right up front here, because it's, like closer to the turn-in box over there. Oops. And generally, I like to work in rows of six. I don't know why. Well, in Harvest Moon, it makes more sense because you plant seeds in a row of six. But in this one, you have to do it individually. So you can really do it any way you want, any pattern that best fits, you know, the design in your mind. But I prefer... So what we're going to do is... So I'm going to want people to be able to, like, walk through my farm. So eventually, I'm going to build, like, a walkway. It's like do do do. It's gonna go here, and then the crops are gonna be here. So like, we'll start it like right here, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I like to have it to where like it's in between. Well, I mean no, not here, but this next one you'll see. So like one, two, three, and what I need to do. Is do that because if you're playing with controller it's good just like it's good to be as accurate as possible because you have to see a little stamina meter in the lower right every hit counts so you kind of want to make the most out of the stamina you have early game at least so we have one two three four whoops one two three four five six so yeah, that's how we're going to plant them um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six. And what I, li what I like to do is have, like, spaces in between. So then this will be our next one. Four, five. And so on and so forth. Like, it, it's gonna, you know, I'm gonna have to clear all this out here, but I need to get some stuff planted with as little energy as I have. We, it's like, ugh, the first day is always so annoying because, like, yeah, we need to go see everybody. We need to go buy more seeds because, you know, I plan to make most of my profit off of farming. Except for the winter months where, you know, we're going to have to rely on um, animals. And I've been looking up guides to see, like, which is the most profitable. And everybody has opinions. So it's like, it's hard to tell, like, a, like, you know, a definitive, like, oh, well, this is more profitable than this, you know, kind of thing. Uh, do I just use these summer seeds? Nah, that'll look, that'll look ugly, because it won't be even. Yeah, just like this. This is how I like to do my farm most of the time. And I like to have six by six blocks of crops. So we're still missing, like three plus three more rows that's 18 that's so we're still missing like 21 so we're gonna buy what we can and because we started with parsnips i might as well buy more parsnip seeds also another aspect of this game is like the there's like dating sim elements to it well there's romance elements because as a farmer i'm sure you know eventually you want to find a wife if you're straight if you're gay you can also find a husband i mean that's what's cool about this game, is it gives you both options. I don't know if you can have kids, though. I mean, because in real life you can, unless you have a surrogate. But I don't think surrogates exist in this game. So. But usually when I, like, and I advise anybody who likes these kind of games, hello there. Hello, you must be Matt, the new farmer. I'm Carolyn. Also, just talking to people gives them a little bit of affection. So, like, that's something to do once you're done with all your crops. 
Okay, so my birthday is this day. And check this calendar, it'll show you the birthdays of people in town. If you give them a gift on their birthday, it greatly increases their affection. So Haley, she's the only like romance option outside of I don't Pierre's not a romance option. Sorry, Emily and Haley, I'm pretty sure. Are romance options. It's been a while since I played this. So we're gonna wanna give them gifts. Haley likes like yellow things, I wanna say. She likes dandelions for sure, which you can find them. I think. I think you can find dandelions. What is this? No, oh wait, that's, this is a dandelion. I know Poppy for sure likes dandelions. Because, like, she's the one I like out of all of them. She's the one I relate to the most, living in a trailer. Alcoholic parents. This! These! What are these? No, my inventory. Uh, oh, man. Oh, this is annoying too, not having a bag. Let me go put this stupid leak in the bin. I could eat it. I guess I should, seeing as I have work to do. I can't get sidetracked. I have to go buy seeds before the stupid store closes. It says there's so much to do on the first day. Hey there. Hello, it's nice to meet you. This is another romance option. She likes food items. I could have given the leak to her, which I didn't... <laughs> I forgot that she would be here, so it just kind of whoops on me. So I said we needed 21 more, yeah, so I need to move my camera just a little bit because it's hard to see the lower part of my screen and there's like stuff going on there. Like I hope I can still be seen. If not, I'll just have to make do and be like, oh, what a... So I need 21 of these. I don't, I think I just might have enough. So that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1. So we'll plant a whole field full of parsnips. They're a one-time plant, one-time harvest kind of thing. I usually like plants that are, like, renewable, like, that grow multiple times during a season. But they're, those aren't always going to be the most profitable ones. And the most profitable crop, crop profitable crop for this season uh, is, are actually strawberries, or is strawberries. So, and we can't even get that until, like, the main festival for this season. Which is pretty ridiculous. Like, you know, it feels like spring is, like, your least... Uh, it's not an easy start. But it's also kind of guess it's kind of aimed at people who are new to the game, so you have more time to learn the ropes, I guess. I don't know. Two, three, four, five. I'll right, we'll put that there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Because I don't know if we're going to have enough energy to completely do this whole thing. And that's another thing, is you don't want to waste your energy by just, like, immediately, like, you know, doing a scorched earth, earth tactic by, like, mowing everything down. Like, you really only want to do what you need at first. Because the amount of time it would take you to do everything, you would lose all your energy and you would get really no work done. And you want to start your crops, like, right away. Like, I'm not going to have enough energy to cut down a tree, so I might have to stop. Let's see. So, yeah, usually I like to have one row in between them. So, let's do this. And in Harvest Moon, like, it's, it's bad to grow your crops next to trees because it'll, like absorb all the nutrients. I don't know if that's necessarily the case for this for this game as well. I never tested it. But just to be on the safe side, I mean, I will get rid of that tree. It's just I don't have the energy to do it right now. And I might have to go up top. For the final row. So yeah, like, I've been trying to start and say it's just that because there's so much to do on the first day, it's like my mind gets, like, 
garbled. Because like, oh wait, I want to say this one thing. Oh, but I, I gotta say this other thing too. I can put the seeds in, in, like, even if we faint, like, I feel like we kind of have to. How much money? Because I don't think we have enough money for a snack. There we go. Oh, I'm torn. I don't know, maybe we can buy something cheap from the bar. Because I really, really want to get this done day one. Because we didn't even finish foraging. But, yeah. Let me finish explaining kind of like the basic mechanics and then we'll talk about what my game plan is for this. So like, like Harvest Moon, this little community has, you know, its own population and there are a set amount of people in the community, the community that you can like date and woo and eventually become, you know, yeah, we can't afford Jack. There's the potential there for you to become lovers and, and eventually marry somebody here. And the way you do that is by, you know, talking with them every day, giving them a gift every day. Usually, I, you, you should try, at least in my opinion, to give them a gift that they like. And a lot of them actually like forageable goods. Like, so, for example, this, um, this isn't a dandelion, right? What is this? I can't pick it up because I don't have any space. Uh, we need that stupid bag upgrade as soon as possible. I don't think it's a sunflower, right? And these are dandelions, so... I forget what it is. It's like it's escaping me. We can grow her sunflowers, and she likes those, but those are a summer, a summer crop. And those are actually really good because whenever you pick them, they drop their seeds, so they're kind of renewable. Um... Let's just water as much as we can. We might collapse. Ooh, just enough. Alright, we at least got our work done for this day. But yeah, you're gonna want to, you know... At least get your daily chores done. Now that I think about it, I don't usually do rows of six, I do rows of five. Or maybe it was six, I don't know. For some reason, like, it's all elongated and weird looking to me, but that's just because there's, like, no space. So yeah, you can woo somebody, and that's generally what I was talking about, is like, there are a lot of them that like forageable goods. Some of them are harder to please. Funnily enough, the one who seems like she would be hardest to please likes, like, dandelions, and she likes super easy to find stuff. Abigail, like, the goth one, she likes, like, really high quality. Oh, did I forget to water this one? That sucks. That actually really sucks, because it's not going to come out as fast as the other ones. Oh, that's annoying. But what can you do? Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff and my backpack's full. Does that sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpacks. See you soon. I mean, we... Oh, I have to get water. It's not affordable for us right now. Like, there's no way it's affordable for us right now. It's, I think it's like a thousand gold, something like that. After our first harvest, we'll be able to get the backpack. But I forget how long um, it takes for parsnips to grow and, and be finished. The second most valuable crop in spring are actually potatoes. So that's what I really want to focus on is uh, growing those. And we have to, like, go to the... Like, there's so much to do at the beginning of the game. Like, we're gonna have to go to the mines so that it doesn't take us forever to do our chores. Like, what we want to do is we want to get sprinklers. 
that way they'll do our job for us and we won't have to spend a lot of energy watering crops. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I'll get I've got something for you, Willie. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be our fishing rod. Um Um Oh wait, I can make myself a chest, that's right. I forgot about this little to get rid of though. I mean I don't need sap right now. And it's like all over the place, so uh now I'm starting to relearn the basics of this. I forgot that I could even do this. Uh that's so nice. But basically now I'm gonna go foraging for like gifts and stuff and then I'll try to be sociable. Be social. We got a lot to work with here in this place, but unfortunately it also requires us to do a lot of work to get it up to snuff. So these, I'm going to save for Leah, that girl that we met in the general store, because she likes, like, food items. Even radishes are, like, you know, good to give to her. Ooh, these too. She likes horseradish. And pretty much that's what I do. I'm like a pack rat. Like, I go foraging for stuff, you pick them up, and you just save them as gifts. Unfortunately, like, like, for example, Abigail, like, her favorite, like, one of her, like, loved things are pumpkins. You can't grow those until autumn. Daffodil. Daffodil. So luckily, another one of the romance options also likes daffodils and uh, dandelions. I was gonna call them posies for some reason. There we go. There's another one over here. So that's what you do in this game, and and now I can get to like the goals and stuff. So like pretty much like this is what your daily life looks like in this kind of game. Is like you do your chores in the morning, and then you know you spend the rest of the day. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Yes, yes I am. No. Gaps for me thing. That means she likes it. Like, depending on what they say, you can tell if they really like it. So, she likes yellow things, I guess, because her hair is blonde. So, whatever, you know. But yeah, this is her house, as a matter of fact. Her room is over there, and her sister's room is up there. You can't, like, enter somebody's bedroom until you have at least two st I want to say two stars. It might be more than that. But that's pretty much what your life looks like in these games. It's like, you have your, ch your chores, and then you go and scavenge, and then you give gifts to people. Hey, there's another one. Sweet. You can only... I think you can give... Is it one liked gift per day, or is it two? I'm not entirely sure. Let's find out. I know in Harvest Moon you could give two liked gifts, but you could only give, like, one loved gift. So because she likes daffodils, we might be able to give her two. But if she says, no, you already gave me something, then, you know, we know that we're in the clear. And you just save these up for each day. You've already given Haley a gift today. So it might be just a one gift system and maximum, you know, affection. If you're going for a min-max sort of situation, then you're going to want to save the one gift you can give. For a loved gift, let me see. I need catfish for a stew I'm making. Those are really hard to get. Especially at our current fishing level, it's not going to be easy if if at all possible but yeah what are my goals oh yeah so my goals are pretty much to make it to like this the end of this game storyline which i think is the year three because you talk that's when your grandpa like there's a shrine in the back oh that's right i heard someone was moving to that old farm there's a shrine in the back 
that says, oh, you'll hear from me on the third year. So that's, you know, four seasons. That's four seasons a year, so that's 12 seasons that you're playing through the game. And each season has 28 days. So, you know, 12 seasons times 28. I'm not good at, at multiplying very large numbers. I mean, I could do it, but I'd have to stop and, and do it in my head for a second. Let me see. 12 times 20... 240, that's 2400. And then multiply that by 8, which is 96. 24, 96 days? I think that's what it is. It's a lot of days. So now we're looking for someone else. We're looking for Penny. As I was rambling, I'm just kind of walking around. But yeah, I think it's 2496 days, I think. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Okay, there she's over there. She usually teaches those kids. Because I guess this town doesn't have a school. They just kind of homeschool each other. Very children of the corn kind of vibe. Ah, uh, the new farmer we've all been expecting. And whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yep. This is Willie. And he's going to give us a fishing rod. Oh, hi there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah, uh, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. Twas a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that... The art of fishing stays alive, and hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Look, man, I got 80 gold in my name. That wasn't even enough to buy me anything to eat. I had to eat a foraged turnip or whatever the fuck I eat. You said a bamboo pole. Oh, there's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what old Poppy used to say anyway. Hey, can I go now? In time, laddie. In time. Must let the cutscene play out. Weird. Yeah, foraging is also a good way to make okay money in early game. Kind of falls off though once you get your farm going. So, oh, I don't want to do that. I want to rearrange this over here. Generally, I like to arrange it in stuff that I use the most. And no, I don't want to throw this. I'm saving that for a gift. Watering can, like, pretty much. Hmm. I would wager that we use the scythe more than the hoe. The hoe you really only use to, like, get yourself started. But for sure, the watering can first. And in terms of upgrades, that's what I, I wholeheartedly recommend upgrading that. Uh, not enough slots. And there's a little community center in the... What do we need? Don't we need, like, 50 wood or something? 300 pieces of wood. Must be actual damn man. We can't collect these. I mean, I could throw this grass away. I mean, grass is all over the place. Here's the thing: is like we're gonna need to make this little like artisan. It's very much like Harvest Moon Tree of Queen Quality. Whenever you're making the the. The rainbows, like that's a very similar concept to this. We're gonna need like specific items to fulfill those. Uh, wait, they were here. I know that she walks those kids home before she goes either to hang out at the bar or she goes back to her house. So yeah, again, I haven't been able to talk about my goals. This town's safe, but I always walk the children home anyway. Here you go, I got a precious little... Thank you, this looks special. Yeah, thank you, you're welcome. 
I forget, like, I forget what she, does she also love sunflowers? I'm gonna have to look this up afterwards so that I can know what gifts specifically to give to people. But, like, up here is the old town hall. And we need to give items to the little special, they're called, like, Jigmos, or I forget what they're called. Something like that, Jigmo, Zigmo. It's locked. I think like day three, something around there, the mayor's like, oh, this used to be our recreation center. And it was really grand, but now that the Walmart moved in, I mean, Jojo Mart, it's basically the same thing. And people have been working there instead, and they're not bringing profits to the town. And actually, this is a slight twist that's different. Um, you can actually choose to support Jojo Mart. And the town becomes, like, more, quote-unquote, modern. But it's kind of like the evil side. And if you pick, you know, to to be more homegrown and organic, then you're picking the good side. So, I haven't really finished this game one way or the other, so I'm going to pick um, the good side for now. If I ever do another playthrough, I'll try the JoJo Mart route. I want to say we need clams and whatever this oyster. This oyster. You can single, right? Yeah. So I'm going to save that for a gift. Oh, I know what I need clams for. You need clams to make fertilizer. So I'm going to save that because fertilizer is really important for really good crops. I don't know if we can make it now. Oops. Crafting. Torch, wood path, gravel path. We in order to level up our skills, that's what we need to, you know, sell stuff in the first place. So instead, I'm just going to sell it like normal so that we get our foraging up. And I know for a fact that we need... A leek and a wild horseradish. Like, we need all four of these ingredients for one of the packages. For the Jigmos, or whatever they're called. That's another thing, is you kind of want to do stuff like that. Story-related stuff, like... Fairly... Early on, because it usually opens up more areas for you to explore and stuff like that. We haven't even gone to the mine yet, but I don't think it's open. We have to wait for there to be like a little cutscene saying like, "Oh, there's a mine here in town. You can go explore." And we have to wait for the Adventure League guy to be like, "Yeah, here's a weapon," because you can't like. There's enemies in this game, so. You can't just go exploring. Oh, my stupid sap. <sighs> Definitely need that to upgrade. Like that area in town that we were just at. We are going to want the range of wood to get over there because there's more forageable goods on the other side. Little things that you... Hey, what's that's coal. I'm going to need that too. To make our furnaces. Which will make us ingots. Like, it's weird because it's like Minecraft... And, um, this is what you would get if Minecraft and Harvest Moon had a baby, pretty much. Yeah, there we go, level one foraging. Now we can make... I mean, axe proficiency is, is, is good. But that's how you level up your skills in this game, is by selling goods related to the skill that, that you're working on. And when you hear that sound, that means it's raining, which is nice, because then that means that our crops are... Oh, shit, I forgot about the fucking ravens. Get out of here, asshole. 
Uh, we need to make Scarecrow. Oh, uh, how could I forget about that? And we can't even make Scarecrows until we get our stupid farming up. That's annoying. That's actually really annoying. Little shits. Um, seeing as how we don't want our wood to ever run out, we're just going to go plant this over here. So yeah, now you just kind of do whatever you want. We can finish exploring the rest of town. Oh, my nose is... Oh, I have really... Not bad, early. <laughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. I have pretty... Ugh, bad allergies. And it is killer. And I don't like to take Benadryl because I hate being drowsy. So I'm pretty much just hacking our way a path southward. So that we can go explore this other area over here. And I can't get it. It's kind of lame. But usually I like rainy days. In real life and in this game because, um... Yeah, that means we don't have to water our crops. Nature does it for us. The only downside is that on rainy days people don't leave their house. So, like, unless you're really good friends with them, you really can't give a gift on rainy days. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case. That's how it was in, um... Well, it was different in Harvest Moon because in Harvest Moon... You could enter people's houses regardless of how close you were with them. We could do some fishing. But we don't have any space to carry it, like... Let me see, I'm pretty sure the general store is open today, so let's go see... ...how much that backpack is, because... ...with all of our tools, we only have... ...like, five open slots to carry other stuff. Which is pretty ridiculous. Pretty ridiculous indeed. Like, it's crazy how little space that is. <clears throat> Let's see. God, what an inconvenient day to be closed. Like, why would you close the middle of the week? And I had a feeling, too. It's like, I'm pretty sure it's closed on Wednesday. But... Well. We got a whole lot of nothing to do. We can't visit Leia because we're not good enough friends with her. To give away this horseradish. Penny might... I, mean, I think we can visit the trailer. As long as somebody's home. Yeah, she's in her room, though, so we can't talk to her. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Might you consider coming out? I have a daffodil to give you. No? Well. I guess we could put this stuff in the chest. And then go fishing, because I don't think we can go mining it. The, uh... There was a recent earthquake. Whoops. Tap the mine. An earthquake that blocks away the mines, so. They're not open for the first couple of days. The only thing else to do is there's usually some wild leeks down here that you can harvest. I want to say, like, every. Season has some kind of wild crop that grows. Yep, here they are. Inventory is full. Wild seeds. Oh, I see. Well, I'm certainly not not making that because why would I? But yeah, these these wild onions or whatever they're called, spring onion. Ah, 
Just free for the taking, right there. Hey, sweet. Mm -hmm. Two more of these. Oh, okay, so this is a higher quality one. I'm gonna have to come back for that. Oh, this is so annoying. It's like right there. I need more space. I might, well, I'm gonna have to put some tools away. Like tools that I know I'm not gonna use frequently. Like the hoe can be put away. I don't know, I say that, but then it's like, like today with the stupid crows, like I had to cut some, you know, retill the ground. Although it is kind of like eerie, like why do they, I know my mind's jumping all over the place. Because I was commenting on how I like the rain in this game, but like for some reason there's like weird noises that come with it. Like wow. Let's see. Dang out of the way. There we go. Hmm. How did I like to do this last time? It's usually, yeah. And then like a scarecrow will go like right here in the middle. Hmm, I wonder, that's, must have been what I did. Because normally I, it's a little more like symmetrical looking than this rectangular shape. I usually like it to be square. So it's usually like one, two, three, four, five, and there's like a... I don't know, this should be fine. I might readjust how I have this built. If I don't like it aesthetically. Usually it would be like a 5 by like 5 kind of grid. But oh well, I'll fix it later. Because usually there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of these these spaces in between and then I like to plant a scarecrow in the middle probably in the middle because I think a scarecrow covers like maybe two rows I don't know what the whole distance is before you need to put another one so there might be like two rows here and then two rows here and then a scarecrow somewhere in the middle or maybe right here we could put one but we can't make one until we have our first harvest So yeah, the game plan is get married, have a kid, make it to year three, and then this playthrough will be over. Um, I don't know if I need spring onions for the gift package, but money is money and we need it. In real life and in this game. I guess we'll do more landscaping. Ooh, that's a lot of sap. We can make stuff out of that sap. For sure. I mean, we're going to replant the pine cones, although you can use them to make yourself those treats. You need an acorn, a maple seed, and a pine cone. And if you plan to do a lot of, like, chores and stuff, they're a really good, um, good early game snack for you to keep going. Once you're able to start cooking for yourself, like... Energy won't be a problem. So the thing about rainy days is there's not a whole lot to... Hey, a geode. Nice. There's not a lot to do. Well, right now, normally I would go, like, you know, in Harvest Moon. You would go, like, to the mine and get some work done there. 
mine's not open. We could fish, which I guess we should do. It's like I'm not sure if we remember to get those, so. And I don't know if we can even get fish in this tiny pond. Like, we're gonna have to go to the lake over here. Ooh, there's a lot of crap in the way. I didn't clear away. I'm gonna have to go around this little lake. Normally, I, I go a more direct path down. But for some reason, I don't know what I was thinking. For some reason... And, like, fishing in this game is also, like, kind of... Mm, it's alright. It's not the best. Like, you need to get, a lot, like, a good, um, decent, amount of, a decent amount of levels in fishing in order for it to, like, not be annoying. Oh. It's not like Pokemon, it's not like the first time you hear something and you push it. It is relaxing though. Oh, this one isn't... Ah, uh, no. Spoke too soon. Hey, I'll take it. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. It is pretty relaxing. I'll give it that. Like... Ooh, and it's less hazardous than mining. But you kind of need mining because... You need to upgrade your equipment. Like, right now, I think we have, like, maybe stone stuff? I have no idea. It's not... It's not pewter. Trash. But you can upgrade your stuff in this game, like, you like very similar to the Harvest Moon games. Like, copper, iron, silver, gold. Those kinds of things. And, um... What's different in Harvest Moon than it is in this game? In Harvest Moon, you could upgrade your your tools with just money if you wanted to. Like, if you didn't want to do any mining at all. Like, it was viable. You just had to spend a lot of money to upgrade um, your stuff in that game. In this game, it's required. Like, either you buy the materials and then you have pay the guy to upgrade. Or you make the materials yourself and then, and then pay for the upgrade. But there's no way around it. Like, you have to have the proper ingredients in your um, inventory before you can upgrade your tools and what's what's I won't say dangerous but it's a catch-22 almost like you need to leave your tools with the guy for a day so you have to realize that you're not going to be able to get any work done for a day while your tools are being upgraded I don't know if it was like that in Harvest Moon. I remember like you just them just being updated instantaneously. Nice. Okay, that means we're gonna have to do our own watering. Make sure there's no damn crows. See, and I don't know, like, why some plants don't grow at the same rate. Like, is it just RNG? Like, I watered them. So good once we get that watering can upgrade. Yeah. 
these kind of games are, are the ones that you play, at least in my opinion. Just like when you're looking to relax and not really, like, think about anything. Because it doesn't really require a lot of thought, it's just a lot of, like, autopiloting, pretty much. Because it's like, okay, you know, wake up, go water the crops, and carry on with the day. So what I want to do is bring these with me. Because we got some gifts to give. I spy a daffodil over there. Nice. And there's like, they're everywhere and there's, they're free for the taking. And it's crazy how these like, people don't collect, you know, daffodils for themselves and stuff. Hey, there's one behind that tree. I didn't know this. It's, nice. it's like a little Easter egg hunt, you know? Now we got quite a sizable collection of what appears to be junk, but it's not. It's free gifts. Uh, there's this guy. He's like the town drunk. Whatever you want, leave me alone. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. It's locked. Open 9 a.m. to... <laughs> this, this house has business hours. She's not here, so she's either teaching or whatever. Blah, I have one too many caramel porters at this little last night. Go away. See, it's like her mom's a drunk and like she lives in a trailer and her mom's like kind of emotionally abusive like I can relate like my mother's not emotionally abusive but I've you know one of my parents was it still is a uh, library nothing to do here I forget what her schedule is like she might be over here somewhere although I might be thinking of summer where she comes over this way Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is, you know, this is what you do. It's more like a social kind of simulator, and and I like those. I don't. For me, it feels like there aren't enough of these kinds of games. But I'm not sure like when the mine opens. I don't know if I have to visit the area or. Maybe. Town Hobo. Well, I mean, you know. So that's pretty much it. Like, there's not a whole lot to do on the first couple of days. And then one, our farming situation really won't get going until at least summer when we can start. I think summer is when we plant blueberries, and those are super profitable. Until that time, it's just kind of, you know, social simulator with a little bit of farming in between. Nope, they're not up here. Hey, Kirby. Yeah, thanks. I decided I'm going to organize my clothes today. I have to throw out my last year's style to make room for new ones. Yeah, here you go. For me? Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Let me double check. Where's Penny at? Oh, there she is. She's reading out of the tree. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? It's the first night? It's been three days, dude. Uh, I know for sure she likes these. Thank you, this looks special, yeah. What you reading there? We're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. Yeah, <laughs> you have a library, but you don't have a school. Priorities. Uh, I think Leah's over here. She paints sometimes. Locked. Only Leah's friends can enter uninvited. Yeah, 
Well, that's the ironic thing, right? You only really invite friends over. So that you're never gonna... Oh, here she is. Good. There's actually a lot of wild food in this area if you know where to look. Uh, yeah, here you go. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. You're welcome. I guess we could do more fishing. There's really not much for us to do outside of running around and gift giving. Ooh, another dandelion. Hmm. I need to go back to the beach to finish getting whatever I can there. I mean, it's not going to be much, but it's something. Oh, wait. Made the wrong turn at Albuquerque here. There we go. And there's like... Oh, okay, it's like there's like no music. So it's like very quiet, mellow kind of game. Let's see, I think this is a mollusk, right? Muscle. So we don't have the wood for that yet. And we only have room in our inventory for one fish, so... Let's go drop this stuff off first and then we'll do some fishing. Oh, I also need to go to the general store to see how much uh, this backpack is. Ladies, I see you don't have any husbands. I wonder if I can get Pierre. Oh, Pierre. Oh, that's right. Your what's your name? Yeah, that's right. So you're a farmer, huh? Interesting. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. I mean, your mother was right. I'm a dangerous man. Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the Union South by Saloon, that's where I work. So my portrait mods aren't working. I can tell that right off the bat. I'm going to have to check my mods later. And I also have a mod to where they're not, they're not bow-legged anymore. Like, there's a couple things that I have. That, how much is this? 2,000. Highway robbery, man. Six days. How much do parsnips do they take four days to mature? So they should... Tomorrow, they should be harvestable by tomorrow. We'll see what happens. After that, potatoes are our most valuable crop. And I will have enough to buy for a full... Hello there. Oh, hi. I don't know what you like. It... Sorry, let me get out of your way, because you clearly won't leave. If I don't be the one to get out of the way. It's locked. It's open 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. There's, like, nobody in this town. I wonder if in the future we'll get mods that, like, populate the city more. Because that would be pretty cool. It's rough when it gets to the point where like you're the wealthiest person in town and all you like you just own a farm. It's like there's something wrong with this picture. I mean aside from the JoJo people, like we probably won't ever have more money than them. I'll just go ahead and sell this for a little bit of cash. And we'll head on down to the lake to catch some fish. I really need to start making mental notes of what I'm going to need for those stupid care packages or whatever they're called. Because some of them require you to fish up s certain things and... I'm going to want to start collecting those as soon as possible because most of them, if not all of them, are seasonal. 
So if you don't do everything you need to do in spring, you're going to have to wait until next spring before you can finish it. So it's good to plan ahead with these kinds of games. And it's rough too because I'm such a, a perfectionist in a lot of different ways. Like if, if something isn't going exactly right, it's like, oh, I have to start over. See, it's so weird that they're bow legged. I'm not. I was born with perfect legs. I wish I was as thin as my avatar, though. Losing weight is hard. Oh, come on. That's another thing, is you're not guaranteed to get fish. So it's like, it feels like wasted time almost to me. It's like, uh, I'm not guaranteed to get anything. If we had the, I don't think it's called the recycling machine, it's called something. It might be the recycler. But we can turn all this, like, trash and stuff into, like, actual, like, uh, materials. Man, well, this has been an exercise in futility. Tell you what. Didn't get jack. And if I had that machine, at least I could turn it into, like, mats and stuff. Hmm. think we need this algae for anything. And I'll store this stuff, and then I'll sell the crap that we got out of the lake. Which wasn't a lot. It doesn't even sell for anything, it's just like, it just takes up space. Unless you get the, the recycler thing. Ooh, a whole 75 gold earned for the day. <laughs> ah. Harvest day. Best days ever. So three of our crops are in... Like, chances are they'll grow tomorrow, but I don't... I like for usually my stuff to grow out, like, at the same time, so I might just get rid of them. To our value Jojo Mart customers, our team members have moved, removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation in the Mountain Lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Pursuant to INIT L61091, Jojo Company Amendment, responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your considered. We value your continued support and patronage. Morris, Georgia Customer Satisfaction Representative. Okay, so that just, all that means is that we can now uh, we can now go mining. Let's see, so, to, it looks so ugly like this though. Like I would have to move it out 
if I wanted it there to be space in between all of them, but that would just look so weird. I don't, I don't think I like that. I think I do like it like this. The only thing is... Ugh, it's gonna bug me because it's not gonna be symmetrical. Give me your hate, give me your anger. And then it'll go like right here. So there's two spaces here. One, two. And the scarecrow is going to go right here. But we can't build a scarecrow yet because we don't have the know how. But we're going to want to take these. So we can go gift giving. And we're gonna wanna go buy some potato seeds. They're 50 gold each. So we can buy. Hmm, 10 of them. Which is nowhere near the amount I, 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 I have space for or want. I want, like, double that. Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it, anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Joja Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can return it into a warehouse. Palakatan should use the money, but there's could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh well. If anyone else buys a Joja Co. Joja Co membership I'm just gonna sell I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it uh, here let's go inside mm, what's this I guess Vincent and Jess must have been playing in here this place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Can't make that raise. What? What's the matter? Are you ill? You saw something? Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. Don't you see? It's a jujubee. You're worrying me, man. Look, I think I'm gonna head home. I need some lunch. You're not the first person who's worried about me. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. I mean, why would you care if there were rats here anyway? Nobody comes here. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Weird, that's like... You hardly ever hear your character talking. Bulletin board. Oh, right. I want you to talk to the... You talk to that wizard. It's like, oh, those must be the jug moves or whatever. Yeah, you know, the mystical beings that live here and shit.
For some reason, this song reminds me of If I Only Had a Brain from Wizard of Oz. If I only had a brain. <laughs> Doesn't it sound similar? Like, it might not be the same key, but it sounds pretty similar. Oh no, Mont's making lentil soup tonight. If you dig in the dirt, you can find some interesting things. Yeah, digging in the dirt. You've already given Penny two gifts this week. That's enough. You can there's a weekly cap on gifts? I don't remember that at all. Oh wait, no, that's right. Never mind. Well she So I can give one to Leia. I haven't even met Maru yet. Although personality wise, she's like the most boring one. She doesn't quite have a lot going on for her character. She just like I don't know. She's like I, I like the the weird thing is it's like it's almost detrimental if you like her because like she's a super genius who can build robots and crap. But then she's like, well, I love you, so I'm willing to just be a farmer's wife. That's like, oh, well, you know, you know, true love, I guess. Uh, shit, I don't remember what Jody's schedule is like. I mean, Leia's schedule. You can still talk to people, though. As good as is ignoring me. Well, isn't she a bee? I mean, she acts like it, but she's kind of like the tsundere of this game. Like, she acts like she doesn't like you. But then she's like, wow, I didn't, you know, I thought that being covered in, in human, in like, you know, in, in animal crap and smelling like farm would be horrible. But for some reason, I like it when it's you. And it's like, <laughs> thanks for the backhanded comment. Like, it's cute. There's character development there. But it's like, you know. Shit, I gotta go to the stupid general store. Uh, well, I will put away the stuff that I cannot gift give this week, which are the flowers. But I can still give radish and stuff. But I need to hurry up, go buy the stupid potato seeds. Once we get paid from today's um, harvest, we'll be good to. Well, I want to say good to go, but we'll be we'll be in better shape. Out of the way, oldster. This stuff can definitely be incorporated into a healthy diet. Yeah, I'm sure it can. So yeah, potatoes are the next best thing, and we can buy. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of them, that's the most we can afford. Which is barely enough to plant one row. Now, parsnips cost less than half, so we'd have like double the amount of seeds if we stuck with parsnips. But after today, we'll be able to buy. Hmm. Kind of torn. Should I make it like eight? No. No. It'll look ugly otherwise, though. It'll look ugly otherwise. So we'll just have seven. Seven is such a weird number. Like, I know it's lucky for some people, but... I usually like round numbers, like either five or six. Five isn't technically a round number, but it's such an easy number to work with. Having to buy seeds in sevens now is gonna be like... I mean, math is math. If you're good at math, it's whatever. 
It's just like they're not nice rounded amounts when you work with sevens. It's like seven, fourteen, twenty one, twenty eight. Like it's just it's just always off from a nice round number. But that's pretty much all we can do. We can go try to find Jody. If she's not down here painting, she'll probably be at the saloon, because I know she likes to frequent that place. But after today's stream, I'm definitely going to have to test out the mods that I have installed, because they are not working. They are not working. I might have to reinstall this game. But there won't be any major difference. Like, it won't be noticeable to you, the viewer, because I will try to get it back to the same place I was. I might have more money, I might have less money, but it'll still be like the same day and stuff. Like, I won't go past, you know, farm days, but it's locked only, okay. So, either she's home or she's at the saloon, which, or she's drawing over here sometimes as well. Or she's like here looking at the lake. Which she is not. And she's probably not drawing anymore. I would wager that she's like, she's somewhere in Pelican Town. Uh, but I do like sounds like this, like nature sounds. Like when I go to sleep, I listen to raindrops and stuff because it, usually it's very hard for me to sleep without some kind of white noise. Let's check the saloon for Penny so we can give her a nice horseradish or a leek or whatever this is. Hey, what's up, farm guy? You can catch me at the saloon most nights. You can catch most people here. This is Morrow's dad, Demetrius. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. I mean, it's all right. Hmm, if I give the cue ball a bit of a top spin, maybe I could... Should I let Sam win for once? Nah. Wow, I just realized it's Friday. <laughs> what do you say to that? Yep, it sure is. Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on Friday night. Some of my mods are working. It's just the visual ones aren't for whatever reason. Because if, if you notice, whenever I talk to somebody, you see everybody like get smiley faces over them. That's like a community mod that makes it to where like, you gain affection with everybody if they see you kind of interacting with the community. Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I'll have, a, I'll have an extra beer in his honor tonight. It's simpler to be friends with the trees. They don't have much to say. I mean... This is a really nice cave, thank you. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, give me the party of strongest. Well, hello there, I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Ugh, Emily is like... the least inspiring looking. Ah, spring, the season of pastels. I actually prefer jewel tones myself. Oh, excuse me, I was mumbling about fashion again, wasn't I? Uh, I mean, you said it, not me. That's so cute that they, like, there's a dancing animation. Well, I guess we're done for tonight. I kind of go put these gifts away. We've given all the gifts that we can give. Even if you don't have gifts, you should try at least talking to people that you want to woo or pursue at least once a day. Because you can still talk to them once a day for a small affection gain. You may not be able to give them gifts, but it's something. So yeah, the only ones we haven't spoken with uh, is Maru, pretty much. She kind of works at the medical office. I say kind of, but I mean... By the time we're done with our chores and stuff, it's not like the first place I think of going. Just gonna cut a little path through the... Uh, 
There we go. That way there's a nice diagonal pattern back to get to where we were. Because the fastest way to move in this game sometimes is like at angles. I don't even know if it's was worth my time to come fishing because there's no guarantee we're going to get anything. Nope. Generally, at, I, I like to be back at the house by 10. Because depending on how late you go to bed, you don't get all your stamina back. I mean, if you've barely used any of it, it doesn't really matter. We could have gone mining today. But I didn't, you know, it wasn't as important to the grand scheme of things. Oh, it's like, why can't I go to bed? Yay, now we can make the scarecrow, which is really important. Okay, so... Yeah, it's my birthday today. The mod that they... Also, this mod... People give you gifts on your birthday. It's kind of... It's a neat little idea. I think the mod is actually called Happy Birthday, so... My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. M. Rasmodius, wizard. Well, sure thing, Paya. But first, we have some chores to do. I don't know if you can pre-water the dirt, which doesn't make sense, but we're, first of all, we need to make one of these. So we need 50 wood, 1 coal, and 20 fiber. 1 coal, and 20 fiber. There we go, and right here, right in the middle. Now hopefully, one scarecrow will do the entirety of this. Like, have this all covered so that none of my bottom or top crops get eaten. But if not, it'll be a lesson learned kind of thing. This is trash that needs to be thrown away. I need to make a recycling unit so that I can actually make something out of this, because it does nothing for us. Dear Matt, happy birthday, sweetheart. It's been amazing watching you grow into the kind, hard-working person that I've always dreamed that you would become. I hope you continue to make more, many more fond memories with the ones you love. Love, Mom. P.S. There's also something I made for you. Yay, birthday cake. Uh, Still not time for the... Whoa, what's this? Happy birthday, kiddo. It's been a little quiet around here on your birthday since you run around, but your mother and I know that you're making both your grandpa and us proud. We both know that living on your own can be tough, but we believe in you 100%. Just keep following your dreams. Love, Dad. PS system is spending money to help you on that farm. Like, I feel like that's kind of cheating. I didn't know that I would get money, because I don't remember getting money last time. But I'm going to take it, because I already have it. I just remember getting a birthday cake last time. I don't remember getting five grand. So yeah, I do feel kind of dirty because that gives you a pretty big advantage because now I can go buy the backpack. And all the crops that I wanted to. I'm pretty sure I could have afforded all my crops with the 1,000 that I made. So that much wasn't in question. But uh, the mod is pretty, I mean, it's cool aside from that. I didn't know that I got money from it. I just thought it was cool to have me, you know, as part of the birthday celebrations. A paste of fresh, a paste of fresh seaweed makes a wonderful tonic for swollen tongues. If you find one, I put. I can put it to good use. Oh no, I don't want to accept that. So 
there a way to cancel these? Yeah, mate the wizard. Raising animals and I need to build a coop. Let's collect that. And there's still six more people we haven't introduced ourselves to. I don't think we introduced ourselves to Linus. This is the hobo. Linus, uh, we haven't spoken to Maru. Hey, Mad Eye Birthday, oh, this is a great one. Hey, look, see, you gave me eggs or whatever. Yeah, fried egg. Take it. Okay, so now we can get this because they gave us birthday money. You got the large pack. And I bought 10, so I need. Uh, 7 by 6 is 42, so I need 32 more of those. This is going to... I mean, that's what you should do, realistically. Is, with mon the money that you make, you should be, like, reinvested back into your farm. By immediately going out and buying more crops and stuff to plant. Uh, what's her name is over here? I thought I saw her over here. Yeah, there she is. So let's talk to her mom for her birthday. Thank you for all you've done for the community. I'm sure your parents must be proud of you. Hey, she gave me some... That's pretty crazy. Eggplants. Hopefully this year we can go... Hopefully this year we can go on an even more adventures together. Whoa, those are kind of crazy birthday gifts. Like, free cherry tree? They take a whole year to, to blossom, though. And I have to look up when to plant it. That's actually pretty sweet. Okay, this mod may be a little broken, because last time... I mean, I had, last time I played it, it wasn't updated. This time around, they actually give you pretty crazy gifts. I'll have to, uh... Re-evaluate. Mm, not so much re-evaluate, but it's like... Whoa, it's actually a pretty decent mod. Almost to the point where it gives you some advantages. And I try not to play too many mods that do that. But I'm going to sell these eggplants right off the bat. You can bet that much. Apple seedling. I'm pretty sure those are fall or autumn. So. <clears throat> it takes a whole season to mature. So we're probably going to want to plant that in summer. And I think for summer in this game. I don't know if it's oranges. I don't know. I'll have to. It's because tree saplings are really expensive. Like. But uh, I've never had one, so at least in this game, so it might be fun. Four, five, six, seven. One thing that's nice about Harvest Moon is it like you don't have to plant each individual seed. spend the next 30 minutes watering all the crops. They yeah, highly recommend that mod. It takes a little finagling. Not, not a little finagling. You need something called Smappy for it to work. But I just think it's a neat little immersive thing. Like I like the immersion that it adds. Because, I mean, it does make sense for your character to have a birthday. I think that it is, like, maybe you should wait until, like, the second year to install it if you want to be, like, full-on, like, lore-friendly with it, because it wouldn't make sense that people know when your birthday is if you just moved to town, and my birthday is, like, so early on in the season. But other than that, I think it's pretty sweet. I did not take into account that I was going to get 5,000 gold for free, though. That is kind of a big... A big leg up. And if you don't use the mod, then you you know, it's gonna go a little slower for you in that regard. But let's go get a let's go see how much saplings are. Cause we can plant a sapling this season to anticipate it um, bearing fruit next season. So let's see how much they are and what the the summer the summer tree is. Is it just me or does Abigail have an unhealthy interest in doom and gloom? I mean, doesn't seem that unhealthy to me. Huh. 
still haven't met Maru. She's probably at her house somewhere. But let's check real quick. It's Farmer Man. Yes, it is. Vinegar, wallpaper. Holy crap, they are expensive. Apricots, you say? Wait, this bears fruit in the spring. Oh, okay, so there's like cheap options and more expensive options. Oh yeah, so oranges are summer. And peach, hoo 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 hoo. It's summer crops are freaking expensive, man. Even with that 5k bonus, we would have only been able to afford one sapling. And that's after the thousand that we made from farming. Well, we're gonna have to wait till next time. But apples, yeah, they're a fall one, so we can we can plant uh, those in, in summer. We can have a little mini orchard because of uh, Abigail's kind, kind gift. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my birthday cake now because it's just taking up space in my inventory. Happy birthday, man! Keep working hard, and I'm sure this next year will be a great one. Oh, he gave me a yam. Nice. I know somebody likes those. Well, you like food, right? What am I supposed to do with this? Okay, so she didn't really like it too much. Well, my mistake. You you eat them, by the way. That's what you do with yams. You eat them. Just thought I'd throw that out there, you angry. What am I supposed to do with it? Well, you bake it, or you could fry it and make... What's this? Pelican Town's greatest features. It's founded with taxes we collect from local business. I'm surprised you have such an extensive library when you have only one shop in town. You might be skimming a little bit off the top there, eh? Oh, Maru likes cauliflower. Happy birthday, looking at you reminds me of ye days when I was just a guppy swimming out to sea. Can you enjoy them, youngin? Hey, he gave me a radish. Nice. What a wonderful day, isn't it, man? Especially since today is your birthday. I tried to make you a poem, but I feel like the best way of putting it is simple. Happy birthday. Thank you. Hey, he also gave me... Some seedlings. What generous people these are. Well, I won't say no to their generous offerings. And now that we are, like, farming level 1, we can make the fertilizer, yeah? And we just need sap for that. Yeah, we're gonna do that for sure. Improve soil quality a little, increasing your chance to grow quality crops. Mix into tilled soil. I think you have to do that before you plant the crop, though. I am not 100% sure, but I think that is the case. So we're going to have to wait until our next harvesting cycle. And we need more wood, because we need to build a coop. I don't know. Online people are saying you should buy a farm instead of chickens, so... I'm kind of torn. Hey there, partner. We should go to the saloon to not celebrate. The original star fruits. That's that's kind of a really really rare thing to give me. Like I swear the the mod wasn't this good before. Like they just gave me basic stuff like fried eggs and and food items and happy birthday, kid. We should have a drink to celebrate another year of life for you. Yo, man, happy birthday. May this be your best year yet. Yeah, maybe it will. Red cabbage seeds. Wild plum. Such generous, generous people. I'm going to have to make a conscious effort to give them daffodils and, <laughs> and horseradish on their birthday. Because they've given me way better gifts. It's only... Hey, there you are. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Mar. I've been looking forward to meeting you. 
You like this, don't you? Oh, wow, man, this is spectacular. Yeah, damn right it is. It was given to me as a birthday gift, but, you know, that's just how good of a person I am. I share the wealth. Partake of my yams and cauliflowers. Uh, who haven't I met yet? There's a scene you can have with her. I think you play guitar or you play like a little triangle or something. She has such amazing flute skills, you can't even hear it. Um, the only other person I haven't met is that Adventure Guild guy. Oh, and the wizard. A stranger. Hello. Well, thanks for the acorns, dude. Hell, anything is something. I can plant those later on my farm to make more trees. So the rest of this stuff, well, I'm going to keep the cauliflowers to give his gifts. And I know somebody likes yams. <coughs> Excuse me, but I forget who. I'll have to look that up at some point. Or I could just sell it, which I'm probably going to do that because money is is good. I do like money. So I'm selling the straw. I'll keep these. And this is a summer crop, so I'll put that away for now. An extremely juicy fruit that grows in hot, humid weather, slightly sweet with a sour undertone. Doesn't everybody love star fruit? I could give these as gifts, but I feel like that's a little cheaty. Like, there's a fine point for me between, like, you know, a little help and a huge, huge help. So I'm just going to store these. These are just regular crops, so I don't have any qualms about selling them. I'll put that away for a gift. Put that away. The rest of this stuff, I'm going to sell. Well, I'm going to keep the clam because we can make better fertilizer later. I'm going to take the sap that we have now, make all that into fertilizer. Put that away. Even though I... There we go. My A button's getting all jacked up again. I need a new controller. I need for this streaming thing to kick off is what I need because... I need money to pay bills. Okay, so I guess we'll go we'll go mining. For a little bit. That's the problem, right? Is like you don't really have a lot of time to do everything that you might want to do in a day in this game. I wonder if there's a mod that actually does that, like, whatever you see her playing, like, you can have it towards Valley of the Windfish or something. Valley of the Windfish? I mean, Valley of the Windfish. Hmm. I was just peering down to this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there dark place and disturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Da -da -da -da. You received a rusty sword. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventures Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Improve yourself and I might think about making you a member. Is that everybody? Who haven't I met? Oh, the only other person is the wizard, right? Whoops. Close that. Yeah, just the wizard. Wait, what was that quest for meeting everybody else? Is it gone? Well, ain't that a B? Generally, when you're doing the mining stuff, you kind of want to make it to the first 
Um, shit, isn't this game? Is it like every five levels? I think you get a free elevator down. So like the discovering ore is important, but. Discovering ore is important, but I think it's, like, best to, like, rush... Ugh, rush down to, like, every fifth floor so that you can, like, take the elevator. We're gonna need lots of copper, and we're gonna need. Ah, get away! These things take forever to kill, unless you have a really good weapon. Ooh, topaz, nice. Ow! You take so much damage without the game. Oh, I haven't met Clint either. I gotta go meet that guy. But these these quartz right here, they're really uh. They are, they're good gifts for Maru. Uh, that's the thing, man, is like. You never have enough time. See, it's like already midnight and I didn't even get close. Ah, I went away. Well, I mean, what do I mean? It's not that I didn't get close. It's like time goes by so fast in there, and it feels like you have to really devote like a whole day to like speed lunking and going like you know mine exploring. Hopefully, we'll still get all of our energy back, even though it's a little late. Amethyst. I'm pretty sure Abigail likes those. Ooh, some hardwood, some sap, some slime. Put all that stuff in there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Abigail likes Amethyst. I know that you can give Maru quartz. So again, a little a little unfair. That's thirteen hundred gold I wouldn't have made without those birthday presents that people gave me. What? Um, hi. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around here. I want you to have them. Learned how to craft a furnace. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. Uh, when you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. I can make you work a lot easier. Oh, excuse me. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. I've scared off one crew. Well, good work. Very good work, Scarecrow. Uh, can I make a sprinkler yet? But probably not a good one, right? I don't think I can. You probably need to be farming level 2. 20 copper ore! Goodness. Well, I think a visit to the mine is definitely in our future because we need that furnace. Need is a strong word, but it's pretty dang handy. And you're going to want to upgrade all your tools as fast as possible. 
Dear Matt, how are you doing, sweetie? I've missed you so much since you left. I hope the farming life is everything you hoped for. Love, Mom. P.S. Sent your favorite cookies. Aw, cookies and cake. That's precisely the reason why I have type 2 diabetes. Mom, you're killing me with kindness. I believe that shit's hard. Like, it's not that I don't want to eat healthy. It's just like it's... It's not affordable for me to eat healthy right now. Like, high quality food in the US especially is very expensive. And that's like, it's like that boogie video, like, these aren't excuses for why, like, someone has the lifestyle they have. These are just reasons. And reasoning is, is like your line of thinking of, like, why something is the way it is. Hey, what's up? My webcam is on. What's that you got there? Well, just, I'm just letting you know that way you don't walk into it if you don't want to be seen. Yeah. What is it? Well, I'll be streaming for five more minutes. Okay. Yeah, that looks really good, actually. No, no, don't put it there. No, no. I'll come back for it. I'll be done in like five minutes. But yeah. What am I talking about? Oh, yeah. It's like, it's, it's those aren't excuses. They're reasoning. Like, people, you know... You follow some sort of logical conclusion to why things are the way they are. And so, like, that's the reason why. One of them, like, yeah, I don't exercise enough, obviously. That is something I have, I'm in control of and I have to do more. But food, it's like, buying higher quality, healthier food is just more expensive. And if you don't have the money for it, you are reduced to buying low quality, high carb food. Anyway, Matt, I wanted to remind you that today is my birthday. I know you might think it's selfish of me to remind you of that, but I like this too. Oh yeah, this is also another mod. And that's actually really nice because it's hard. Uh, it's not that it's hard. I have actually a pretty good memory, but I don't. I only... No, I don't. In this game, it's hard to, to remember birthdays because you're so busy. Do, what the heck? Oh, that's right. That's what that is. I also have another mod that lets me have more than one pet. So like whenever we get my cat... I can have more cats later. And one of them looks like the cat from fa the Facebook emoji cat. And it's like, I want that cat so bad. Uh, I don't even know what Mary Lewis likes. Uh, shit. Maybe I can get him a food item. I have no idea. Well, all the crops are watered, and we do need to go to the... We need to go to the... Cave? Cavern? The mine. But first, I do kind of want to, you know, say hi to everybody, because it's free affection points. Um... Hopefully I did that yesterday. Like, because this, I'm doing kind of a let's play, or a playthrough or whatever. Like, I'm more focused on actually doing things that that keep, you know, people's attention. So I'm taking a break from house chores today. That actually keeps, you know, people's attention as opposed to, like, okay, I need to go, you know, make sure to say hi to so-and-so because... Let's see, is she up here? Yeah, she is. And we're not super close. Oh, dear. It looks like someone has abandoned a poor cat. Perhaps you should pay Marnie 500 gold to give it a checkup so you can adopt it. 500 gold? I mean, they're kind of like... Guilting me into it. Wep. What am I call you? Let's see, you were white, so I'll call you Shido. Once they have their shots and I begin grooming. Okay, thank you. Well, it's a good thing I had the money because then I wouldn't have been able to, you know, adopt the poor baby. Hello, um, the weather's interesting today, don't you think? It sure is. I love it when pink petals rain down from the sky. And I don't have any of my gifts with me. It's like, you gotta kind of remember, like, okay, every week at least give two gifts. So, like, that Monday and that Tuesday of that week, you gotta give a gift. Ooh, nice. Ooh, it's a silver one. And also just, like, talking to them every day. 
and it's if you do that, it's actually possible to take somebody to the dance for this season. Usually, it's going to be Haley because she's the uh, only one who has a birthday. I think prior to it, the other person who has a birthday this month is Emily. I think, but I think her birthday happens after the festival. So, yeah, we only have about one more minute of streaming. So what I'm probably going to do is do as much as I can in that minute. <laughs> but I will leave it off here, and when we come back, I will still be here on the mine. Yeah, I'm not sure how that, that'll, that will work, because it's just, like you really can't pause this game. I mean, you can. The only thing is that I would have to like start this day over. Because the, the way the game saves work is... Ooh, Topaz, nice. The way the game saves work is that... Um, you get one save, and that's every time you wake up. So you always start from the beginning of the day. And I think I'm gonna sleep. Because I'm actually getting a good amount of copper and stuff here. So I don't want this to reset at all. Ooh, now this is a nice... Second floor. That is very nice. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet setup. Ah, uh, it's a dark floor. Shit. Ah, uh, alright, good. The music is so good for the mine, it's too bad it's like so short. It feels like it doesn't like play long enough. Ooh, there's a quartz over there that I want. Ow. Ow. Got it. Quit it. Little bitches. Man, once we actually get a decent weapon too. Things will just go by so much so much faster. Ah, but I really like this music. My compliments to the composer. Sweet. Ooh, just lots of little knickknacks that we're finding. I do like I do like mining. But I will say too that this was also just a very lucky kind of run. Like, these, these floors have been really kind to us with stuff to give us. But yeah, I won't stop the stream until I'm, I make it to, like, floor five and I go and sleep because I don't want to lose any of this progress. There we go. Now we got an elevator. Ah, get away. Shit. And you don't want to die down here. That's a bad idea. I don't Because... When you die or pass out in this game, you lose money and, and and someone robs you. And it's usually the homeless guy who finds you. He's like, I found you knocked out, man. And, and you, some of your money was missing. And, I mean, there's no way to prove it's not him. But at the same time, it's kind of like, oh, it's shame on you for assuming it was the homeless guy that fucking robbed you. Which, in all likelihood, I would, I would automatically assume it was him because he has nothing to lose. But anyway, oh, I do want this, this copper. I'm going over a little bit of the time I wanted. The original time I wanted to uh, stream for. But that's because it's like, ooh, a piece of candy kind of thing. Like, you just keep seeing things that you want to get. That was a pretty good haul. I think we got eight copper last time, so this is twenty-one. So we haven't. We might have enough to make a furnace, and we just need the ore. We don't need. Uh, we need twenty-five stone, and I got almost. I almost got all the stone just from just from going into the mine. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make our furnace and then we are going to sleep and then save and then call it a stream. Um, hmm. 
eventually I'm gonna have to go on a wood a wood grinding session so I can uh there we go. Uh all my precious copper ore. But we can actually make a uh, copper ingot now. I think you need like five ingots to upgrade. I'm I I'm so rusty at this. It might be five ingots too. Oh wait, we need one copper. We need one uh, coal too. We need a coal in our inventory. I'm pretty sure. So that'll be ready for us by t tomorrow for sure. Oh, we'll store this, this, this slime. I have like I'm such a pack rat when it comes to stuff like this, because <clears throat> I never know if if things are going to be useful. I don't. I think we might need the earth stone or the earth crystal to like as part of a package, but I don't think we ever need bug meat for anything. Maybe to make bait, but I don't really fish often enough to justify making bait and stuff. Hmm. Oh, we can change the color of our chest. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't notice that. The things you need, you know, some things you don't see the first couple of times you play through. Anyway, I think that is for sure going to be a stream. So, hey, look, it's the baby. It's my little baby. I just love whenever he plops on the floor. It is like so cute. He's not gonna do it now, though, huh? Eh? Eh? Oh, God, it's so adorable. I love it. Okay. Okay, he's he's as skittish as my other cat. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna end the stream here. Been streaming for two hours. I kind of want like two hours soft minimum. There is no... Ooh, I'm trying to talk here, kitty. There's no soft maximum or a hard maximum. So, but yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Kirby, for showing up and, and giving your support. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can come watch me live. I'm going to try to stream every day from noon until at least 2. Um, that's Mountain Standard Time. So if you live on the West Coast, that's 11 a.m. for you. If you're on the East Coast, that is uh, 2 p.m. for you. So um, if you live outside the U.S., I know that my time is seven hours behind uh, Greenwich Mean Time. So, yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you guys next time. <laughs>